Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to your word for the day. I'm Pastor Mitch, and today our verses are Philippians chapter 3, verses 18 through 21. Most everyone watching this probably has some sort of ID card that tells them that they belong to something. It may be your state ID or driver's license. It may be a passport. It may be a school ID card. And those cards indicate uh, to you and whoever sees them that you belong to some group of people, that you identify as a part of that group. And you may identify as a citizen of your country, as a resident of Arizona, a student at LHHS. It may be a political party and you identify as Republican or Democrat or Libertarian. Maybe you identify with your occupation as a teacher or a first responder, a business owner, a realtor, a doctor, a gas station attendant, a waitress at Denny's. We might even make our labels relational and identify as a husband or wife, a mother or a father, a brother, a sister, a grandparent, someone's best friend. There are many different things that we often tie our identity to, but what is your primary designation? What is the one thing that should be clear to all above all else that this is what marks your identity? In Philippians 3, we read that there are many whose conduct shows that they are really enemies of the cross of Christ, that they are headed for destruction. Their God is their appetite. They brag about shameful things, and they think only about this life here on earth. But we are citizens of heaven where the Lord Jesus Christ lives. And we are eagerly awaiting for him to return as our Savior. He will take our weak mortal bodies and change them into glorious bodies like his own, using the same power with which he will bring everything under his control. So how are you living your life? Are you simply a citizen of Arizona, the U.S., Canada, Mexico, the world? Maybe you consider yourself to be a citizen or a member of pop culture or business culture or a certain political party? Or are you a citizen of heaven that is acting as a heavenly ambassador to the people who are part of your life? When someone looks at your life and the way you act and you treat others, which label do they see first? Which label do they see most often? From the words of Jesus himself, in the Gospel of John chapter 13, Jesus told his disciples that by this, uh, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. I want you to take a moment and think through the way that you live your life. Do others know that you are a follower of Jesus because of the way that you show love to others? If you are unsure or if the answer is no, then my challenge for you today is to think through how you can change the way you treat others so that those around you know that you are a citizen of heaven and that you are a follower of Christ. Thank you for tuning in to your word for the day. Like and share this video, and we will see you tomorrow.